the storm's getting worse and worse. You have to get your mom out of here. You want to get to Truman's? We'll have to leave now to get there by tonight. We've got enough gold, more than enough. You can never have too much gold, Dad. There's no need to be greedy, son. Hitch up the door. <laughs> Shut the door! That's getting covered up. Oh, it's cold out, so I'm bored, oh, darling. Oh, he's going to sleep. Shh, such a baby. Hey, hey! A big boy like you can push! I'm just a kid! I'm freezing! Have a heart, Paul! All right, get on. But I'll have to leave some of the gold behind. Now walk! Get back there. The rope, ain't you, baby? Well, I haven't had time to exercise too much, but I'm sure I'll work it all off up here in the woods. I was talking about my Rosie. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> sure is gorgeous up here, Mr. Truman. Yep. Not too hot, not too cold. Yep. You tell me you know more than anybody about these woods. Yeah, I guess so. Can you show me where the wolves are? I can show you where the wolves were. A lot of poachers been working this area. There's only one thing I hate worse than a poacher, and that's a goddamn environmentalist. Mr. Truman, I'm an environmentalist. Yep. What you plan to do with them wolves once you find them? I'm a scientist, an animal behaviorist, and I hope to study their pack behavior and nomadic instincts. <laughs> How long you been living up here in the woods? Oh, 40 years. What would you say is the most valuable thing you've ever learned? Don't step in bear shit. Mr. Truman. <laughs> well, basically, it was a very successful day. Mr. Truman helped me set up a great camp, and I spent the latter part of the day exploring the area for any sign of the wolf packs which inhabit this area. But I have a feeling that they may be getting more scarce than first suspected.
Mr. Truman, how could a child actually survive? Well, you've been studying wolves, haven't you? You must have run across a yarn or two about wolves raising other young as their own. But I thought that was just fiction. I never believed that that could really happen. Well, if that's who I think it is, it's the only explanation. A wolf pack must have found him and raised him as a pup. Hey, here it is. I knew I'd find it. Man finds gold mine, loses son. I <laughs> traded all for my son. Massive search for millionaires talk continues. I'll never give up. Look at this one. Shan dies in woods? Yeah. Henry never did find that boy. But he never stopped believing he was alive somewhere, somehow. He kept searching till the day he died. Old Henry didn't leave anyone out when it came to the reading of his will. Do hereby bequeath one third of my fortune to my beloved and devoted wife, Margaret. A third? A third. A third. One third to my son, Reginald, and his wife, Rhonda. And the final one third to my son, Robert, who's been missing since he was two. If Robert should fail to appear by his 30th birthday, then his share will go to his brother, Reginald. I loved old Henry Shand. So I tried to keep track of his family these last 15 years. They're a queer lot. Now, Reggie, the oldest boy, he went and blew his inheritance in one year. After it was all over, he and his wife moved back into his mother's home, big old Victorian house, where both he and his little brother Bobo were born. Folks say Reggie ain't exactly overburdened by popularity in the neighborhood. Morning, bud. How's that new driveway coming along? Bet you're sinking a pretty bundle into that. <laughs> but he's kept up front. Spends his days at the country club. Where he ain't won any charm bracelets either. Oh, boy. Good afternoon, everybody. Oh, shit, here comes the sponge. Hide the money. And then there's Rhonda. Reggie's wife. Oh, a right pretty girl. Who took the drink right after he lost his bundle. Now, Margaret, that's the mom. She's gone all peculiar ever since her baby disappeared in the snow. Why, she's taken to providing homes for stray cats. Spent millions on it. Could that really be him? I mean, 28 years is a long time. Well, there's only one way to find out. How? Oh. And he was just a little tot. His big brother took after him with a hot branding iron. Now, if that's the Shan boy, you'll find a little horse right smack on his tail. On his tail. You know, Mr. Truman, I think I'm going to let you check on this one. <laughs> his name. Bobo. Yeah, Bobo. Bobo. Good morning, Ma. Ah. You didn't kiss pussy. Oh, Ma. Mm. Good morning, sweetheart. You think so? Mm-hmm. I hope everybody's feeling as stiff as I am this morning. No, I'm not moving so fast, Reggie. It makes me dizzy. Did you ever think that maybe it's the booze that makes you feel that way, Rhonda? Hmm? Don't pick on me, Reggie. I'm not up to it. I have a splitting headache. Gee, I can't imagine why. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful oatmeal this morning, dear. Are you having a water shortage? Hmm? Hmm. Do you think it'd be too much trouble to get a cup of coffee this morning? Dear? Yes, he does it. Thank you, dear. 
I think I'll fix myself another little drink. You didn't used to drink so much for the morning, Rhonda. You didn't used to live with the cat lady, Richie. Shh, please. We used to have our own wonderful home before you blew it, Mr. Lucky. Mr. Chemin Fair, Mr. Roulette. Okay, so I made a few bad bets. A few? Only you would bet $100,000 on a horse that started from a kneeling position. Well, if the jockey hadn't fallen off, who knows? That's right. Ma, oh, this is from another damn cat shelter. Let me see. Ma, you've got to stop giving all your money away to homeless cats. You're not going to have anything left. And we'll all be broke. Oh, well, cats get lost. Just like people get lost, don't they? Ma, uh, helping lost cats is not going to help bring back... Forget it. Pussy wants to go for a walk. That's nice, Ma. Take him outside. Does she have to keep those filthy animals around? What filthy? What animal? She has one little cat and her shits in a box. What do you want? Ribbons? Rhonda, why are you so depressed? Why am I depressed? I'll tell you why I'm depressed. I'm depressed about the cleaning I have to do. I'm depressed about the laundry I have to do. I'm depressed about the cooking I have to do. Well, I'm a little depressed about the cooking, too. <gasps> Rhonda! Get your motor running. Get out on the highway. Now, the Shans don't live too far from that animal research institute you work at. So I suggest you drive the boy on home. I reckon by the time you arrive there, you'll get to know each other pretty well. Just in the Bobo, you have steak. Get back, back in there. Hello. Hello, hello. Is this Reggie Shan? Yes, it is. Reggie, this is Truman. Truman? Well, talk about a voice from the past. What's up? I have great news for you. Your baby brother's been found and he's on his way home. Oh, you know, hey, you know, Truman, if that's your idea of a joke, it's a very bad one. How can you be so sure? He's got a what? A little horseshoe. On his where? Right where you put it, on his butt. <laughs> How does pussy look? Wonderful, Ma. <laughs> and me? You too, Ma. Beautiful. Don't wrinkle my blouse. I want to look extra nice when my little Bobo gets here. Bobo? What kind of a name is Bobo? It was just a nickname my mom and dad gave my brother Bobby. And what about you? Do they have a pet nickname for you? I guess not. Unless you count shithead. He's here. Don't wrinkle my blood. All right, Ma. Be nice to him. We're gonna need him. Welcome, Mr. Shan. Penny 
Brand. Mr. Truman asked me to bring the brother by for you, but I'm the one who actually found him. Who is this? Where is one... Where's my brother? This is Bobo. This is him. Bobo, get off there. I'm sorry, but... Is that my Bobo? Bobo. Bring the dear boy in. Oh, Bobo. Bobo, Bobo, I'm sorry. He's not used to being on a leash. As a matter of fact, he's not used to civilization. That's just the way Bobo expresses Bobo. Oh. Where have you been for the last 28 years? I was beginning to get a little worried. I think oh, he remembers I you. I love... This is good. This is great. Oh, what a cute little boy you are. <laughs> Does Bobo want to play with Pussy? Huh? Oh, no, Mrs. Shand. I, I, I don't think that's a very good idea. <laughs> Bobo! Bobo! Miss Shand! There is something I don't understand. Bobo was just a baby when he was lost. How could he possibly have survived up in the woods by himself? That's the most unusual thing of all, Mr. Shan. He was raised by wolves. 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 Ah, Reggie! Oh, now you're gonna have to be firm. Yes, I should have been firmer with Reggie, too. No, Bobo! Did anyone see him come in? No. I mean, you can see why I'm so excited about Bobo. Are you sure no one saw you come in? Play nice now. Positive. But Bobo, sit. Stop. Bobo, sit. Just like his father. And I believe that with the proper teaching and environment, Bobo could once again take his place in society. I mean, after all, there's nothing wrong with him mentally. Just, oh, he just takes his rain 10 10 for Christ's sake. Bobo, come on. Come on. Oh, I'm really happy, but... The fact is, Mr. Shan, I'd like to write a book about him. Book? Forget it! Ah. There will be no books written, no articles. Mr. Shan! But this could be very important for the scientific community. I said forget it. Look, I don't think you understand. I don't I'm think you here. understand, Miss Grant. Mr. I want the pleasure you... of taking care of my brother myself. There will be nothing mentioned, no articles, no invasion of my privacy. That dog is not leaving this house. My brother is staying right here. Well, perhaps I could come by and visit with Bob. I'll take some notes, see how he's adapting. I don't think that'll be necessary, Miss Grant. He'll be doing just fine. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Excuse me, You can read to him later, after he's all settled in his room. Come on, Bobo. Come on. Come on. Come on, Bobo. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Not a word about this to anyone.
He has to go out again. What? He has to go out again. Oh, come on, Reggie. I'm exhausted. Well, is it my fault if he isn't housebroken? You walk him this time. He's your brother. You take him out. I let him do it in his room. Yeah, and if he does, you can just clean it up. Why did that girl have to find him? Everything would have been fine in a few weeks. We'd all be on easy street. What a waste, all that money. What's he going to spend it on? Alpo? You could always ask my father for a loan. Forget it. Absolutely not. No way. I have some pride. Besides, I already asked him a hundred times. He, and he just wants you to down. beg him. I did, and the bastard still turns me down. He hates me for marrying you. No, he doesn't, Reggie. He just thinks you suffer from some deep-seated, unconscious, repressed guilt. Oh, bullshit! No, it isn't, Reggie. Daddy's a very respected psychiatrist, one of the finest in the country. I don't want to hear about it. Come here, sweetie. Oh, Reggie. What if something were to happen to your brother? Nothing's going to happen to my brother. My mother won't even let him out of his sight. But what if it did? I mean, she can't be watching him all the time, can she? I mean, what if he were to get lost again? <laughs> Your tea, Reggie. Where's Ma? She's playing ball with Bobo. <laughs> Ma never used to play ball with me. I hate to say it, Reggie, but I don't think she likes you. Nonsense. She's got to like me. She's my mother. You know, Reggie, I've been reading in the paper lately how many fatal accidents occur in the bathroom. What are you saying? Here we go. Oh, Bobo. 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 
Bobo. Half time. Reggie? Reggie? Have you seen Bobo? Just give me a bath, Mom. Would you like to take a bath together? I'm over on the top. Your tea, Reggie. Sweetheart. You know, Reggie, I've been thinking that maybe the please, thing that... Please, Ron. My brother has one more accident. It's liable to kill me. Where is that moron, anyway? Your mother took him to the club. Oh! Mrs. Shand, how are you? Oh, wonderful. I want you to meet my son, Bobo. I want to sign him up for tennis lessons. Come on, Bobo. Come on. Come on. What are you doing? Oh, it's you, Reggie. Well, good, you can play doubles. Forget doubles, Ma. Do you home? Not until you introduce him to some of your friends. Please, Ma, no, no, no. This is the time. Either you do it or I'll do it. No, no, please don't do that, Ma. I'll take him, I'll take him, I'll take him. Reggie? I mean, what the hell is happening to society out there? What kind of an idiot walks through wet cement? A mortar pervert? I'm telling you, they gotta start sterilizing people. I've waited a long time for this opportunity. I'm overjoyed to finally have you meet my brother. Your brother? So long. Hold it, Reg. Is that Bobby? Yeah. The boy who was lost in the woods? That's right. See ya. Wait, wait, Reg. Reggie. Bring your uh, little brother back in here. Oh, what do you say, fellas? What are we, playing or what, huh? <clears throat> Jack's the better. Hey, Jack. How's your new refrigerator? <clears throat> How's your new refrigerator? Oh, Jack? fine. Nice and cool. <laughs> are you ready? How are you room for beer? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> How's the wife and kids, Fred? Oh, they're, they're great, Reg. Great lady you got there. Thank you. Where did you two meet? Houston. Texas? Yes, Texas, Fred. I'll take two. What do you say, Al? Reggie. Reggie. Ask your brother to sit down. Bobo, sit. Look at this. I, I tell you, the kids are scream. Reggie. Oh, he's acting up. Come on, boy. Attaboy. Oh, well, maybe he better sit this one out. He's been a little tired. I did. Um, lie down, Bobo. Sit. Lie down. Oh, what a comedian. <laughs> I'm dropping my membership. Well, Reggie, I uh, guess this changes things, doesn't it? Oh, what for? Like you were using his inheritance as collateral. <laughs> what difference does that make? It's all in the family, right? Huh? Damn it. What's the matter? Reggie, your brother's chewing on my shoe. Oh, no, no. Reggie. Reggie, to get back to my point, legally, there is no way you can borrow on that money. Really? Is that right, Jack? Well, naturally, Reggie, this does complicate matters. I mean, your father's will was specific. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Are you saying that we're not going to get back all the money that Reggie mooshed off us, specifically the 40000 he owes Fred and me? Where the hell is my shoe? Forget your shoe, you slumlord. What about my 40000 Reggie, your brother just pissed in my shoe. What the hell is the matter with you, oh, Reggie? Bud, but he's just a little behind in the social graces, that's all, from living in the woods. Here, take his shoes. That'll get you home. 
Just a minute on that shoe. This is the idiot who's been trampling through my new driveway. Will you calm down? Obviously, my mother has a few minor problems. I'll calm down when I have your check in my pocket. That driveway cost me $70,000 so far. But you know I don't have the money. Exactly. Now that your brother's back, you're never going to get it. We're stuck for the money, right? Jack, help me. Well, actually, Reggie, there is a solution, and a rather simple one, too. Uh, all you have to do is get uh, Bobo here to uh, sign over his power of attorney. Now, I, I can draw up the, the papers for you, but all you have to do is get your little baby brother Bobo here to, to sign his name. I mean, he, he can write his name, can't he? Write it. He can't even say it. Well, we damn well better learn, and you damn well better teach him. Don't worry, no problem, I swear. Miss Grant, this is Reginald Shan. Oh, hi, Mr. Shan. You want to do a study, right? Write a book, is that correct? Yes, of, of course. Now, here's the deal. You move into our house, work with Bobo day and night, stop him from shitting on the floor and get him to write his own name, and you'll have exclusive rights to his story and help to finance the publishing of your book. I'll be at your house in the morning. It'll be a pleasure waiting for your arrival, Miss Grant. Come on. Come on. Bobo? That's it, that's it. Oh, keep it. Oh. Okay, come here. Come on. That's it. Up. Yes! Up. That's it, Bobo. That's it. Okay, stay there. Stay there. Stay. Stay. Oh, wow. Very dangerous. Put it in your mouth. In your mouth. 
No, Bobo, no, no. This is a knife. Now, what you do with the meat is you cut the meat with the fork and the knife. Cut the meat. Bobo, pay attention. Look, look, watch. Into your mouth. Now try again. Bobo, see, you have to clamp onto it with your hand. Bobo, no! No, give me that meat! Give me that meat! Bobo, give... Good morning. How are you? Good. And so Little Red Riding Hood started off into the woods on the way to her grandmother's house. But soon she came across the big bad wolf who's... Sorry, Bobo. Nothing personal. <laughs> Let's do something else. Okay, here we go. Three little pigs. Once upon a time, the... It's not going to work either. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time... To... How's he doing? Well, from a scientific point of view, I... I'm not interested in a scientific point of view. All I'm interested in is can he write his goddamn name? Oh, he is making progress. He's beginning to speak, and that is the first step. Bobo, say something to your brother. Go ahead, speak. Good morning. Repeat after me. How are you? Repeat after me. strange picture. Huh? Come on. Come on. No, that's a tree. That's a tree. There's nothing. Look, there's trees everywhere. Okay. The light? It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna play. Now, what's wrong? Something's wrong here. Come on. No, this is... Mrs. Shan, very, very good. Very good. Very good. Yes, very good. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Reg. Reggie. 
Yeah. What? How, uh, how is that brother of yours doing? Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Don't worry about a thing. Everything's going to be great. He's gotten over all that uh, dog business. <laughs> of course, of course. The guy is just as normal as we are, you know? Too real. <laughs> See you later. Bye. And, as the good book points out, all of us, each and every one, indeed, are our brother's keeper. Now, for our final hymn, if you will all turn to page 128, and as it says in the Bible, let us raise our voices in a joyful noise unto the Lord. See some results fast, young lady. Your time is running out, Miss Grant. I'll do my best, Mr. Shand. Excuse me, please. How are you? Oh. How? How? You. No, how are you? You. That's okay. That's okay. Okay. What is your name? Bo. -bo. Is that right at that? I. I. Yeah, that's good, Bobo. Okay, this is tough. Ready? What's that? Bow. Bow. Are you sure that's all we need? Absolutely. Once your brother puts his signature on these papers, he'll sign over all rights to his inheritance to you. Oh, I love it. I love it. Thirty million. You'll be a rich man again, Reggie. Miss Grant, Bobo. Ah, uh, here's my little brother now. Hello, Reggie. Oh, that's very good, Bobo. <laughs> Do you remember Jack? Jack. Hello, Jack. <laughs> oh, it's a genius, huh? As long as he can write his own name. He can, can he, Miss Grant? I told you he can print it, Mr. Shand. That's sufficient. It'll be legal. That'll be all, Miss Grant. I'll be right outside. And close the door. Bobo? Why don't you show Jack how nice you sign your name?
the hell is going on? Mr. Shand, he has been living in the woods now for 28 years with wolves. It shouldn't come as too much of a surprise if he reverts back every now and then. Maybe I should let him go. Maybe he'll kill himself. Oh, you better hope not, Reggie. If your brother were to die now, the money could get tied up in probate for years. Miss Grant! Here's your tea, sweetheart. Let's get it! Get him off the tea! Get Bobo downstairs and get Jack downstairs and that damn girl! He's gonna sign that paper and he's gonna sign it now! Come on, you son of a... Is this the best he can do? He can't write his name right now, Mr. Shan. It's been a little traumatic for him. It's been a little traumatic for me, too! Oh. When will he be able to write it? I don't know. I don't know. We might have to start over from the beginning again. I... Well, I'll keep these handy, Reggie. Uh. Miss Grant, you are going to step up Bobo's training. This is important. Oh, well, then perhaps I should take Bobo away with me to some place where he can concentrate a little bit better. Listen, girlie, you leave. You go without him. No book, no fame, no nothing. You know, Bobo. Come on, Bobo. Come on, let's try. Let's try this again, okay? Okay? Hold the pencil in your hand. Okay? Come on. Come on. Put it in your hand. Oh, Bobo. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what they want you to sign, but something is not right. See? Jane. C. Jane one. No, no, check again. C. Jane play. Good. Okay. One more time. Bo Bobo, pay attention. Bobo. Bobo. Okay, now you write it. Bobo. Bobo. No, Bobo. 
Nova, you're not concentrating. We've got a lot of work to do here. Your brother's going to be mad. Now, come on. I'm sorry. I will try harder. Okay. Help me. No, Bobo, you know how to do this. No! Bobo, look, I'm not playing games now. Now, you practice writing your name, and when you can do it, you call me, and then maybe we'll play. I can't take it anymore. Between your mother and your brother, this place is a zoo around here. Blonde, it's not going to last much longer. Yeah, well, one more minute is too long as far as I'm concerned. There must be another way to raise some money. Like what? I've hocked everything except Ma's cat. What about selling that land up in the woods your father left you? To who? It's worthless. There's nothing left up there except an empty gold mine. Even the lumber companies aren't interested. Listen, Reggie, I'm fed up. Not only do I have to pick up after you, your mother, and your brother, but I have to put up with that Penny character, too. Rhonda, as soon as my brother can sign his name, that girl is out of here, okay? She better be. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell at you. I know that this is real hard for you. I think you need a break. Break? Fun. Come on, fun. let's go have some fun. It's okay, Bobo. Nothing in here is going to hurt you. Besides, it's good for you to get out. Someday you're going to have to do these things without me. Put your foot on it. So just put your foot on it. That's it. Go ahead, both feet, both feet, both feet. Both feet. Bobo, stop. Let's, let's find some pants. Okay. Got blue. Blue. Can I be of assistance? Uh, yeah, I'd like him to try these on. Okay, there's a dressing room right back there. Okay. Go for it, Bobo. Go in there and try those on. Something else, ma'am? Hello. Hello. Okay. Hold the pants. Zach. Okay. 
I'll give you the room. Are you a homo? No, I'm a bobo. Okay, okay. Jack. Give me a minute, will you? What, what, what do you want? Can you do the alterations now? Sure, come back in an hour and they'll be ready. Oh, great. How much do I owe you? Good question. Okay, wise guy, just hold it right there. Not you. You get out of here. Hey, wait, wait. But these are my clothes. Oh, come on. Tell it to the judge. You're no, right. I'm telling you, I was in the dressing room. This Can guy I do my I... job here? Yeah. Give me a problem. Yeah. Yeah. I'm these just doing mine. my job, so just keep moving. I stay right. Bobo! Mother, I was only talking to I said, him. never talk to strangers. Nice work, isn't it? You know, the essence of this piece lies between the interplay of form and color and motion. As you can see, even though this is a static two-dimensional acrylic painting, there exists a dynamic and fluid energy. I have to make a pee pee. You show me where it is. Thank you. 
yours. Bobo. Can you and I be friends? Yes. Let's go on an adventure together. Yes. What's an adventure? Mommy, can I have that toy like he had? Oh, sweetheart. We really can't afford that right now. Oh. He says he wants to go home with you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Honey, what a nice man he was. We got a shoplifter here. Oh, hold, hold it. I I'm going to pay for that doll. There you go. That's good, right? Yes. Okay. Bobo? Penny. You look very handsome. Let's go for a walk. Come on. You know, Bobo, I've been so wrong about everything. I, I was so wrapped up in just teaching you to read and write that I forgot the most important element of your education. I mean, the thing that really separates humans from animals, and that simple kindness. The truth is, I haven't taught you half as much as you've taught me. life? Yes. Wolves do. But forever and ever? Forever and ever and ever. Are all these dogs following us? Yes. Bobo, I have learned so much today. Pull yourself together. Don't you get it? We're doomed. 
Bud's gonna have my brother locked up. He's all rolling around in his wet cement. Good, let him lock the fool up. He's been nothing but trouble since he got here. Ronna, you don't understand. If they lock up my brother, he'll never sign the papers and I'll, I'll never get the money. What? Shit, wait. There's another way you can have your brother committed. Committed? You mean like crazy? No, 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 no. Mom would never forgive me. She would if we set it up so it isn't your fault. Father could have him put away in a mental institution, a loony bin. Why would your father do that? He's a respected shrink. He's not going to lie for me. He hates me. He doesn't have to lie. We'll invite him over for dinner and he can see for himself. After all, Reggie, your brother isn't exactly Albert Einstein. I like it. That way Mom can't blame me. But what if the girl gets Bobo to behave? Don't worry about that. We'll separate them at the dinner table and then we'll get him drunk. After a couple glasses of wine, Bo will be acting like an animal, which he is. Looks like he's got company for dinner. Maybe we shouldn't disturb him tonight. It'll embarrass him. All the better. Did you bring the arrest warrant, Jack? Yes, I've had the judge sign it this afternoon. Are you sure you want to go through with this? Positive. I'll tell you the truth, I feel a little bit like a traitor. Reggie's been a friend. And so have I, Jack. And I could pay you. Scrub, Reggie. All we have to do is wait for the police. <laughs> Lovely charity. <laughs> the money, thank you, will be used to build the... Thank you. The, uh, thank you. The, the largest Siamese uh, cat house in the world. <laughs> this is a cause for poor oriental hookers? She's talking about cats. <laughs> Siamese cats. For every $100 donation to the Lost Cat Fund, uh, we will neuter a cat in your name. Oh, that sounds very really interesting. <laughs> Isn't it? Neutered, you say? They cut their balls off. Huh. <laughs> Let's go downstairs, shall we? <laughs> Not like this. Ready? Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Sorry we're so late. Ladies and gentlemen, the guest of honor. Everyone just sit down, please. Oh, Darlene, Fred. Over there in the corner. Thank you, Ray. Nelly. Over here. Bobo. It's okay, Jack. Mother, dear, at the head of the table. I would like to make a toast. A toast? To the happiness and the health of our honored guest, to Bobo. To Bobo. To Bobo. To Bobo. To Bobo. To Bobo. And again. Cheers. Dan. Cheers. 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 Shall we? Mm, yeah. <laughs> More wine, Bobo? No. <laughs> I mean, thank you. <laughs> Bobo. What? 
Well, Paul. Cut it out. You help him water is stuck. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Would you pass the salt, please? Uh, salt, please, Bobo. Did, did you say something? <laughs> so, how's the practice going, Walter? Uh, oh, well, it's the same. Everyone seems to want, want to be cured in one session. <laughs> Not much profit there, so... <laughs> well, that's the trouble with our society. They got fast food, now they want fast psychoanalysis. Oh, no! Oh, my... and I warned you about marrying into this family. Brother, blow it out your ass. <laughs> you're getting out of here. Yeah, see, you coming with me. As soon as I put on my shoes. Now, wait a minute. Everyone, calm down. Calm down. Uh, I think this has all been a little too exciting for Bobo, so I'm going to take him to his room. Come on, Bobo. Bobo. Bobo come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> I think, uh, yes, let's be on our way, shall we? Uh, sweetheart. Another lovely evening at the Shands. Yes, a howling success. For Dad. Look, Dad, I can explain everything. I hope you're not going to let this little incident influence your testimony at Bobo's hearing. Reggie. <laughs> I'm a highly respected man in my profession. Oh, some even consider me a genius. But... There isn't a chance in hell of anyone being convinced that your brother is anything but a goddamn lunatic! Does that mean no? Uh -huh. Yahoo! Rana, we did it! We're gonna lock the bastard up and throw away the key! Now get rid of that girl! Miss Grant! Anytime, Sprint. Can you please give this to Bobo? Oh, it's this. It's an explanation. I own that. You will see that he gets it, right? I'd be delighted. Thank you. And, uh, Dr. Belmont, as a foremost authority, what would your professional opinion be of the defendant's psychiatric capabilities? Well, let me put it this way. Unless he can find work as a watchdog, I'd keep him locked up. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I therefore ask that the court appoint his brother, Reginald Shand, to oversee the estate. And furthermore, that for his own safety and welfare, Robert Shand be put away. Preferably the pound. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. This man is not crazy. Young lady. This is all a plot designed so that his brother can steal his $30 million inheritance. Young lady, I have ordered you from this court before. These outbursts will not be permitted. But this isn't a hearing. It's a kangaroo court. It's a star chamber proceeding. Young lady, I warn you. But, Your Honor, just let me speak for him. He, he can't defend himself. He thinks that his brother has deceived him and that I've deserted him. But regardless of that, I know him better than anyone. And I can tell you that, that this man is filled with more decency and kindness than anyone here. He is, he's natural and he's unspoiled. And if I were half the scientist that I thought I was, I would have realized that he, that he shouldn't have even been taken from where he belonged and, and he shouldn't have been rushed in his education. Your Honor, how long will this court be forced to listen to the ridiculous rantings of this woman who is obviously in love with the defendant? Let me uh, read to you from her own notes. I'm afraid I'm losing some of my objectivity because I'm in love with the subject. What does this have to do with anything? Are those your words or not? Well, yeah, yes, but I... And are you still in love with him? Yes. Yes, I am. Well, you're on. I want to speak. Yes? Your judgeship. Do you think it is bad to chase a fire truck? Do you? Oh, well, no. No, I don't see anything wrong with chasing a fire truck. Well, I don't think anybody can be considered insane because they like to watch fires. He's nuts. He should be locked up. He's two sandwiches short of a picnic. Well, what about his disgusting behavior at dinner the other night? How about that? Good question, sweetheart. You bet your ass. Get out. Your Honor, the reason for this hearing is to establish if Robert Chand can be trusted with the disposition of $30 million. I do not want the money for me. I want to give it to my family. <laughs> Did you hear that? Your Honor, I'm afraid there's been a terrible mistake. My little brother is childlike in his way, but that's what makes him so special. What could be wrong with a boy who's willing to give all his money to his own family? No, no, I mean my family of wolves. Wolves? Wolves. 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 Order in the court. He wants to give $30 million to a pack of wolves? Sit down. It's not the court's concern what Robert Shan does with his money, just whether he's sane or not. Sane? He thinks he's a dog. I'll prove it. I'll show you. Watch this. Come on, Bobo. Fetch. Here you go. Here you go. Fetch. That's a boy. Good dog. Fetch. See, I, I, come on. Come on. Fetch. Rush, 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 rush. And forks, too. He's absolutely insane. Not only do I think he's sane, but he may be the sanest person in this courtroom. Case dismissed. Rich, we can appeal. No problem. Penny. 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 
away. Bobo. Oh, Bobo. Bobo. I think you're finally going to get to be a grandmother. Oh, wonderful. I just love Puppy. <laughs> Forever and ever and ever. And see you later. <laughs>